You know, the number one uh, leading cause of injury and death uh, in toddlers, ages one through four kids, um, is pool deaths, pool drownings. And uh, it's a major issue all over Florida and, and even here in Polk County. Uh, now, one of the things that Polk County is doing, uh, fire and rescue, here in Polk County is putting together a, a campaign, a, an awareness campaign to talk about the, the reality of pool drownings. So uh, here to talk to us today is uh, Assistant Chief Rick Parnell with the uh, Polk County Fire Rescue and also uh, Rescue Chief Benny Luke. Uh, guys, thanks for coming on today. Glad to be here. Now, here in Polk County, we're used to we're we're kind of used to you know the pools. We we know you know we we know how to deal with them, um, but there's a lot of things that kind of slip by people, right? Absolutely, um, the the pools are so common here, and sometimes it's the most common things that you take for granted. It's true. And so some of our residents, uh, mostly visitors that are not used to having pools, uh, when they come to visit Polk County, a beautiful place. The weather you can't beat it. Uh, it's uh, uh, wonderful all year round and they get complacent and they leave the doors open to the pool area and their children are not used to being uh, being around pools or water in general and bad things happen. Yeah. Now I alluded to it in the introduction there that you know toddlers uh, it's the number one cause but it's not just toddlers that are affected by by this uh, you know the pool deaths it, it affects children all the way up, right? Absolutely. Um, the next group is the age, I think, five to ten um, is number two. So you can see as the kids get older, um, number two is there, and there is a gap. But as kids get older, um, the numbers go way up again. And this is like hmm. the teenage group, and they tend to drown in places like uh, lakes and, and beaches because they're doing more challenging things, and it yeah. is usually a male. Um, but as Rick was talking about people coming into the county to vacation and so forth and that being an issue, it's also an issue with um, people that have pools and their children and mm -hmm. they, they're used to the pool being there. And in Florida they have a campaign now, it's um, really called Three Layers of Protection. And it starts with supervision, um, then barriers, and then have an emergency plan, emergency preparedness plan to respond if there is an emergency. And supervision's important. You've got to watch these four-year-olds. Uh, yeah. From crawling to four or five years old, children will, um, they'll, they'll find a way to get to a pool if they can from their own home, mm -hmm. from a, a sliding glass door, a window that's not locked and so forth. They've learned to, that they can find something to climb on to get to a lock. Yeah. And the second barrier would have to be a barrier between the pool and the home, such as the, the barrier fence that we commonly see. Um, kids most commonly drown in their own backyard swimming pool. Mm -hmm and these barriers were, will help with that. And when we talk about supervision, many times families have gatherings for holidays and so forth, and the, the most important thing here is to remember when we have a large number of people gathering, someone has to watch the pool yeah. and uh, the p children in the pool. And um, we always tell people it also needs to be truly sober supervision. Everyone's having a good time, someone might decide to have a few beers. People that are gonna watch the children in the pool have to be completely sober. Yeah. I mean, your your child's life is is a, a danger every every time you have them out there near near those bodies of water. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and as you'll hear from the facts, um, it happens so quick. Mm. It seems like seconds, not even seconds, and in five minutes' time, it's over. Yeah. In five minutes' time wow. of inattention, so it's it's happened so fast. And as Benny has found, done the research, it is so silent. You don't hear anything. There's no yeah. screaming. There's no thrashing well, those, around. Especially those little kids. I mean, they go in, they go down. Mm -hmm. They go they, down. They don't. <clears throat> they don't know how to. They don't know how to doggy paddle or stay afloat. You know, you're you're correct. You know, an adult. If we see a car coming, we will turn and run away. Try <laughs> to get up. Away. A child yeah. will stand and freeze. The same with a pool. If if someone can't swim and they're an adult, from life's knowledge, they're going to try to fight to stay from right. above water. A child, a three-year-old when they hit the water they generally just panic and freeze so they don't mm. splash and usually they're reaching out to get something and um, they just kind of lean into the pool they uh, don't dive in or jump in like I hate to even think about that and so it, it's, it's, it's truly almost quiet as a matter of fact one of the phrases they tend to use is quick and quiet and as Rick said five minutes or less is very common um, the last time they saw the child mm. 
You know, it, it's it's interesting. I'm thinking about. I've I've seen some of your commercials, and um, you know, one of them shows uh, a gate that doesn't close the whole way because a, a toy gets stuck there. And how simple of a thing that if you're not paying attention, how quickly that one little stupid toy can be the difference between your child surviving and, and not even getting to the pool or falling in and, and losing their life. Absolutely, and, and we're just so attuned to this. You know, we, we tend to look at, as firefighters and, and, and paramedics, we always look at the surroundings and look at, at possible uh, things that could cause harm to people mm -hmm. and things like that. When you're in your own home, you don't notice that. Yeah. You know, yep. there's a lot of things that happen that you just don't notice, and a toy being in there is nothing out of the way. You know, it's yeah. child be doing that. So with, when we're thinking about the drowning, because the consequences are so severe, take the extra moment, look, make yeah. sure that things are, are that the safety devices are uh, functioning as they should whatever it would be make sure and and you guys are you guys are the ones that are out there on the front line your teams are the ones that are responding to these emergencies mm -hmm. and how devastating it must be for them to come mm -hmm. into one of these situations i mean i can't even well th this is probably one of the parts that's most near and dear to my heart uh, i ran a call i go out to, from time to time we go out and ride with our crews to see what Things are uh, how right. things are happening, right. and and of course one day we uh, I, we got a call for a near drowning up in the northeast part of the county, and as I got on scene, um, I'm, I'm not as medically trained as most people in the department, and you know I'm administrative, so I, I'm better off to stay out of the way and let the the truly uh, talented people work that's on our team, and I was looking around, and you know we had a helicopter there that was going to fly the patient out, uh, the little child. Mm. Uh, they were intubating him, you know, IV, IVs, everything, a uh, number of fire trucks on scene, number of uh, the ambulances, the crews, the hospitals. And I stepped back and looked at, at not only just a terrible threat to life, but, but the cost of, what the, of, of our good system that we have in place, mm -hmm. all the people there. And then I noticed, as you were mentioning, after the child was flown out and you look at the crews and, and the devastation in their eyes to have held a child in their hands that may not live. It's just a terrible emotional uh, uh, aspect on, on our crews yeah. and on the parents. And it's just a no win. It's, it's terrible. It's even, even if the child yeah. survives, what, what the family and what the, the crews go through for days until you find that out is just heart-wrenching. The yeah. stress is unbelievable. And, and I have to imagine, I mean, I know you guys are saying take, take 60 seconds. That's all it I mean, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Um, how quickly something can change like that. Um, you know. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, today, it's, you know, it's more than what we've always heard in the past. You can be distracted by the phone, by someone at your door, items in the kitchen. You know, you're manning a kitchen and you leave the child for just a minute or leave a door open when you're running back in and out. But now we also have all the electronic devices. You could be virtually near the pool, reading your emails, um, yep. on your tablet, on your reader, and you may not realize something went wrong in the pool. Mm. And that's, again, it's quick and silent. And with the day's electronics distracting us, that's even another concern. Yeah, and, and it's so, I mean, the, the, the tragedy is, is this is so preventable. I mean, you look at car accidents and things like that, and you just know that when you're on the road, this is, this is a possibility, this is a reality. And there's not, not that it's not preventable, but there's not as much that you can do, you know, with a car accident, with car accident. You can drive safe, but there's always somebody else on the road. But these drownings are so easily preventable by just taking some simple steps. Well, we, we show in the videos, and we really believe this, it is 100% preventable. Uh, I talked to one of the, uh, the helicopter crews that wanted to uh, participate in our campaign. We had mm. already secured all, all the, the funding and things that we needed and pretty, uh, pretty much had everything completed, but they felt so strongly too because of the, 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 the effect on their crews that they wanted to participate some yeah. way. And I said, uh, I, I was telling them, I said, you know, if I had my way, I'd put you out of business <laughs> as far as drowning yeah. goes. If, if, if this is successful, you will never run another one in Polk County, which is what we want, you know, we'd like to happen. We know that's not realistic, but, uh, and they're more than happy to yeah. not run any more child drownings. 
Now I know that um, I know that you guys have developed uh, a few simple things. Uh, I know that you've developed some stickers to put on windows and mm -hmm. things like that. Tell me a little bit about some of the some of the steps you're taking to uh, to help this uh, campaign to get some awareness out. Well, we developed uh, some campaigns mostly around the stickers and, and, and physical things that they, there's a QR code on there that mm -hmm. when you shoot it with your smartphone, it'll take you and show you some of the drowning prevention videos. The, the issue was how do you reach primarily the tourists that come to Polk County? They don't typically read newspapers when they're on vacation or if they do, they want to read right. their hometown, they do that on their tablet or their, or their laptop. So we uh, worked in coordination with the rental uh, agencies in the short-term rentals uh, business, uh, houses that they rent out, and they were very cooperative. They wanted to help also. So we're having these stickers placed on the sliding glass doors, low and high. Mm. A, they liked them because they, you, the, they have a lot of people that walk into the sliding <laughs> glass doors not seeing it. And B, it's a reminder when you walk in and you see that, that drowning prevention, that it, it heightens your awareness. A constant reminder. It's a constant reminder as you're walking in and out of that door. We're looking at targeting um, the drink coasters for some of the restaurants up in the northeast part of the county, uh, actually all over the county. Again, targeting tourism and tourism areas where people go out to eat a lot when they're mm -hmm. on vacation, and you know people like to do that. We're looking at also putting them in the movie theaters during those announcements phases before the movies. Try to target those things that people are that are here for recreation yeah. like to do, and to maximize the effect of, of the dollars that we're having to spend. That's great. You know, I, I just I, I can't say enough about the work that uh, Polk County Fire and Rescue does. Uh, you know, I, I have the the opportunity to work closely with um, with your uh, PIO, mm -hmm. with your uh, public information officer, and I get little glimpses of what you guys do, and it just it blows my mind the uh, the amount of training, the amount of dedication, um, and the amount of services that you provide to this uh, to the residents of Polk County. And personally, thank I you. say thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, our, our crews, um, our paramedics, uh, the EMTs, the firefighters, um, they love this. They hate running these calls, but they like being able to do something. They wouldn't yeah. be anywhere else. And um, they feel, to, to use an old phrase, they feel your pain. It's, it's as devastating mm -hmm. on them as it is if it happened to their own families. And so they are truly dedicated men and women that go out 24-7, 365. They're, they're out there hope, hopefully producing a good outcome and um, sometimes it doesn't always go that way, but they, uh, they give it everything they have and the, like you say, the training, the equipment, the Board of County Commissioners and, uh, and the County Manager, very supportive of the Fire Rescue Division, uh, very pro-safety for the county residents and the visitors. We want this to be a place that people feel safe and want to come to Absolutely. and have a good time and not go away with a memory like that yeah. that you'd like to leave. Guys, thank you so much for thank coming you. on. Um, it's a pleasure and as always, you know, whenever you guys have stuff to come, come back and, and uh, share some more safety tips with us. Uh, let us know what's going on in, uh, in the realm of safety. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. It's a Polk County uh, Fire Rescue they are compiling a major campaign to get the awareness out that drowning is 100 percent preventable. Uh, you and your family do not have to experience an awful tragedy like this. Simple steps to take. Being aware, uh, being sober, being, um, being present. Uh, all these things are so easy and to get some more tips and more information um, that are that are going to help you and your family uh, it's really easy just go to polkfire.net slash take 60 seconds you can also call if you need any materials or anything like that that you might want to put in your local uh, place of business or uh, church or whatever it might be uh, you can give them a call at 863-534 five nine eight one and they will hook you up.